So now let me welcome Mr. Albert, uh, Albert Eric Botta. He got a job as DevSecOps engineer very recently. And please help me guys to welcome him because he's the one who made it possible, who basically today he has a job in IT. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Mr. Albert. Uh, he's one of our student at Think Cloudly. Uh, and I just requested him to come and, you know, pump our audience by his journey, which was, which wasn't e easy at all. So congratulations, Albert, and welcome to this session. Uh, just to start with, I want to thank um, Mr. Naman and the entire team of Think Cloudly. When I joined uh, this journey with Think Cloudly, it was after some frustrations, you know, coming from a non-IT background but i had some good stories about think cloudly and i thought of um, giving it a shot and today i'm happy to say that um, after all my efforts i've managed to get this job as a devsecops engineer which was not an easy journey but i want to encourage all the students that are here that um you may think that you are losing money or investing money in what you're doing, but really this money is going to be paid back to you in the shortest time you can think of. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that one certification may not be just enough for you to achieve your goal. I'm saying this because uh, with Think Cloudly, I've actually done a few certifications just to make my presence, you know, more visible to the employers. And I'm um, so thankful to the team for all the support, the tutors, amazing, amazing guys, Shailandra Shukra, just to mention one of them. Um, um, a, a lot of them, I, I, I can mention a number of tutors that I've encountered, but, uh, Thank you so much for your help, and I'm sure that all the pa participants that are here will one day also come to this STEM webinar another day and give a success story. Thank you very much, and be encouraged that you can do it. And the way to go is take your time with Think Cloudly, refer somebody so you can get your discount, and. <laughs> Take all those certifications that are aligned with what you have in mind, because Think Cloudly has all those certifications available. Thank you so much, Mr. Naman. And so, so uh, yeah, no, no, thank you so much. First of all, Albert, uh, I mean, it is great to talk to you again. I know I just requested you to come and you accepted my request. Uh, the, <laughs> there are a few questions I would like to ask on behalf of our students. Okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, you, you are in Canada, am I right? Yes, I'm in Canada, and uh, the job I found, I'm going to be going to Montreal, Canada, because oh. I live in Toronto, but the job is in Montreal. Montreal. So, uh, Albert, what was your background when you basically moved, uh, like you got this DevSecOps engineer job? What was your background? If you can just put some light on your background for, for students so that they can relate uh, with your background. So, if you can just talk about a bit, like just for one minute, probably. Sure, definitely. So my background was in sales and I uh, hated my job because I had to meet a lot of sales quarters and all that and it was stressful. And uh, because of all the stress I was going through, you know, I was like, you know, let me change my life. It's never too late. I have two kids, but I persevered working, you know, all day and then coming back home, you know, going to you know, the classes and doing it every day. I did two hours in the morning and two hours at night. <laughs> so you, you don't get time to spend with your family. Am I right? So when you have a goal to achieve, you have to make sure you stick to the schedule. Because from what I have right now, I'll have all the time with my family doing Monday through Friday, nine to five, a thing that was, I thought was not possible, but thanks to you guys. 
Yeah. It's a sacrifice, but you know, when you have a goal, you have to stick to your plan. And with the help of the Think Cloudly team, they actually helped me to figure out what to do, starting from how I should plan my studies, how I should prepare for my interviews. I, I did watch different webinars that I missed, plus attending every webinar that I took place. And those are the things that helped me. No, that, that was great. So Albert, how many interviews you went through? Like if you can put some light on, uh, you know, a spotlight on interview process that how many jobs did you apply and what was the time frame and how many interviews you went through and what, what happened in the interview? Like if you can just take a little bit oh. of time and explain this to entire students here. Oh, great. So as many of you may agree with me, the job market is not as easy as it used to be. I've done over 100, over, I would say over 150 applications. And um, I've done maybe 10 or 15 interviews. Whoa. But uh, Whoa. learning from the interview preparation webinars, one thing I learned is that every time you have that job description, that should guide you on what you need to prepare for. You need to make that into a story that aligns you with that job based on your qualifications and certifications. So this particular job that I, I uh, managed to get, I started the job specification and then started looking at how I will align myself with this job and what kind of a story can I make to uh, make my uh, interviewer understand and um, see me as the right candidate. So I, I, I keep going back to saying that uh, these webinars on job interview preparations we are critical for me because every technique that was mentioned is what I used and I think it worked out really good and practice too makes perfect <laughs> yeah definitely no Albert I'll I don't want to just give the the whole credit to think loudly I want to tell you that I always believe that it is the efforts from the students what they actually make think loudly or a platform like Think Loudly is just a guide to you, which actually, you know, helped you whenever you need, needed us. Uh, but I want to know one thing that uh, you were referred by your wife uh, to Think Loudly, if I remember, right, Olivia? Yes, and then, that's correct. And then you started with, uh, with the, you know, with the Azure program, and then you basically uh, chose the De DevOps program. And I think that actually right. uh, basically became uh, a, a learning journey for, for you because you could able to add some skills. Am I right? So I think that was the reason why you went through into the uh, into the multiple interviews and 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 luckily today you have a job, correct? That's very correct. That's correct. Absolutely. So uh, that's that's amazing. Uh, so th thank you so much, Albert. I'm we don't have like a lot of time. Otherwise, I would have you know I I really have a lot of questions for you. But I just want to basically thank you for like I just want to thank you for coming today and uh, you know uh, tell your story to our students. Uh, so I, I think uh, that is this, that's the best use case what you have presented today, Albert, uh, on your journey. And thank you so much for your thank presence. You. Thank, thank you so much. And again, I just want to encourage my fellow students um, that uh, it's possible. We just have to persevere a little bit and the payoff is going to be like, you know, a big, big surprise, a big it will be unbelievable when you get the job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely. You're right. That is so true. Like once you land a job, then payoff is going to be unbelievable. Thank you, Albert. Yes. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Switch from non-IT to IT today. Explore www.thinkcloudly.com.